Okay, so everything we've done up to this point involves characters and meshes that have already existed in the level that we're sort of just manipulating in a sequence to carry out our cinematic. But what happens if you want to have a character appear or disappear in a scene and not exist in the, the game level itself? Well, the way we solve this, uh, this problem is with something called a spawnable. So let's pretend this is our player character here, and we want him to talk to an NPC. So this is going to be our NPC here that he's going to talk to. And you can see in the outliner here, he's called Mannequin 2. So let's go back to our sequencer folder. We're going to add a level sequence. We're just going to call it Talk. We're going to open that up. All right, so let's select our player character first we're going to add him to the scene and I'm just going to slap an idle animation on him. So he's sitting here, he's waiting for the NPC to come talk to him. We're now going to add the NPC by clicking add, adding that mannequin, and then we're going to right click on that mannequin 2 name and we're going to convert it to a spawnable. So you'll see right away the difference. You can see a normal uh, sort of character that persists in the the level has a normal icon and an actor that is a spawnable and only exists in this sequence has a little lightning bolt over them and it has also added a uh, a value track down here called spawned which if you click off the character disappears completely so since this value itself is, is keyable we can go to let's say frame 10 key him off so he's off for the first 10 frames of the cinematic we're gonna go one over to 11 key him on for that frame and then at frame 11 we're gonna put a walk cycle on him and he's going to walk up to the character so you'll notice now if we close this sequencer that character disappears He's not even listed here in the world outliner anymore. He exists solely inside this uh, this level sequence. And in fact, if we go uh, go into the sequence here um, and delete it, that character doesn't even reappear here anywhere. That character is completely gone. He uh, he was deleted with the sequence he was in. So in this way, you can have uh, several actors even appear in a sequence, and they're, they don't have to be sort of standing around somewhere in the level waiting to be called upon by, by the sequence. They can be spawned in and then spawned out at the end, if that's, if that's the effect that you were looking for.